So it's always good to hold your brush up and just allow that plumb line to fall because when you're drawing, when you're painting a long stem glass like this, you want to make sure it's uh, looking straight. You don't want to have it leaning. So you want to compare that line to the edge of the canvas. So in terms of the bottom of the stem, I'm just painting straight down and treating that as a spot of value. Now that we have the basic value established for the uh, martini glass with a burnt umber, we're going to deal with the surrounding space in a real simplified matter. So I'll take a, a small amount of uh, titanium white and then a bit of the ultramarine blue. So here's a case with this uh, blue gray where I can go thicker and also sharpen up this edge here. So I can sharpen up the top of that ellipse. Paints a little, uh, I'm putting on a little bit more thickly compared to inside the glass. Not everywhere though, like right there is thinner. I can carve and I can sharpen up. I don't want this back edge to be too edgy. I want it to sort of dissolve back into the space because I want the attention to be on the glass. What will happen, like right here, the edge will disappear. More yellow. But it'll darken. So we've been speaking about painting glass. There's a lot to painting glass. Anyways, I've got this uh, eight by eight painting on my uh, easel. I've worked on it for one session. Now I want to finish it and it actually has a glass. There's a glass of water with two figs to the left. And I've set up the foundation like we've spoken about with uh, painting glass. Problem is the glass is a little bit crooked. What do I do? Well, I'm going to show you. So when you're painting glass or any elliptical form for that matter, always check your painting in the mirror to see if uh, the drawing's off. Now we're going to paint this cute little uh, cigar ashtray from uh, Maxine's from Paris, that well-known restaurant in Paris. And uh, I'll show you in a real simple way how to map out the lights, darks, warms, cool, and a few flecks of uh, highlights. So making this look like the uh, China is all about warm and cool relationships. We're going to start off with the uh, side plane here, the uh, cool blue-gray lower key. We'll hit right there with the vertical stroke, and then uh, this spot right in there. Then from there we'll move in with the uh, yellow ochre tonality for the lights and with a few highlights and then a dark shape for the cigar. I won't get into the detailing of the cigar since this is dealing with the glass, just the uh, form of the china glass. Okay, now same sort of thing but with the uh, cool. Now let's see, some of this cool starts right about there. It winds around like this. 